Hello and welcome to June's 2012 Business Bullet, the monthly roundup of Olympic business news. I'm Graham Ruddick. The 2012 Olympics could lead to 100 days of disruption to London's transport network. Plans unveiled by the organisers and Transport for London to ease congestion for Olympic participants include road closures and traffic restrictions running from late June 2012 until mid-September. Motorists and cyclists face £200 fines if they use dedicated game lanes during the Olympics. Bus routes are also going to be redrawn and rail commuters are being advised to rethink their journeys to work during the Olympics. The operator of the O2 in London is in the running to control the Olympic Handball Arena and Aquatic Centre after 2012. Olympic Park Legacy Company has opened the bidding process for the arenas and AEG is understood to have tabled a proposal. The handball venue is officially called the Multi-Use Arena. It holds 7,500 spectators and will be London's third largest indoor venue. And finally this month, international retailers are battling it out to find new flagship shops in London before next year's Olympics. American fashion retailers such as Forever 21 are already planning to open new stores on Oxford Street this year, but new research from property agent Colliers International suggests even more are targeting the capital. Rob Fay at Colliers said the boost in tourism and publicity from the Olympics will help London to further outperform the rest of the UK. That's it for this month. Thanks for watching and please join us again for another 2012 Business Bullet.